Good morning, caffeine fiends and vault dwellers. It's another day in quarantine, but we're here to bring you another coffee review for www.getbeamed.com. Today, we're looking at Minor Figures Coffee uh, Cold Brew, Nitro Cold Brews, um, and we'll be looking at their Black Nitro Cold Blue Brew, their Latte Nitro Cold Brew, and their Mocha Nitro Cold Brew. Um, I won't be drinking them all at once, I'll be drinking them throughout the day to space out my caffeine hit. But we will start with the black, we'll move on uh, to try the coffee, see how the actual coffee tastes. Um, we'll move on to latte, see how it works as in a more kind of milky setting. And then finally the mocha, see how it works with another component, the chocolate. Now, uh, the thing with minor figures is that everything they do is 100% plant-based. So their latte and their mocha actually contain oat milk. There's no dairy products in what they do and there's no added sugar. Um, so that is interesting for me as I am plant-based. Um, so we'll be giving that a go. Now, I actually received a box of uh, 12 of these. So four of the black, four of the latte, four of the mocha as a gift. Um, so thank you for that to the person who sent those to me. Um, but uh, you can buy these from their website, minorfigures.com, uh, in boxes of three, six or twelve. Um, you know, so I got a box of four of each, four black, four latte, four mocha. Um, you can buy them in boxes of six and boxes of three, either in kind of a multi set, like a, yeah, a multi pack or as the singular. So you can just buy the latte if that's your preference, etc, etc. So £6 for uh, three cans, £12 for six cans, or £24 for twenty-four pounds for 12 cans. So that works out at about £2 per can, which isn't bad going considering it's coffee. Uh, you're bearing in mind, uh, you know, how much you pay for a can of fizz, but coffee is more expensive. Um, and these are 200 millilitres. So 200 two pounds for 200 millilitres is not bad going at all. Um, um, presently, if you subscribe to them, so if you give them their email and, you know, are happy to receive emails, you'll get a 10% discount on your first order. What they are also doing at the moment, considering that we are in lockdown, is that they're giving 5% of your total order to your favourite coffee shop. So there'll be a little notes thing at the uh, end of your kind of sale if you go online. Um, and if you type in the name and the address of your favourite coffee shop, they'll give 5% to of your total sale to that coffee shop. So that's not a lot from this kind of single order for versus, like I say, it's 12 cans, 24 pounds. So 5% will be, what, pound twenty. Cool. How's that for quick maths? Um, yeah, uh, which isn't a lot, but it's it's something in these kind of uncertain times. And, you know, if you're ordering, say, your coffee beans, which you can get from them, and oat milk and cold brew, so you can do a big batch order, you know, it, it is something. And it's, it's better than nothing. Um, and it's money for free at the end of the day for these kind of coffee shops and minor figures ends up kind of advertising to them. So it, it works both ways. Um, so yes, we will start going through these uh, now and we'll see how they go. We're going to start with the black nitro cold brew. So uh, we've covered cold brews and nitro cold brews and what the difference is before, but I'll just recap. So a cold brew is obviously coffee brewed and designed to be drunk cold. So cold coffee for kind of the warmer months. Nitro cold brew is uh, cold brew, but with uh, infused with nitrogen. Um, so a bit like a fizzy drink. It doesn't make it fizzy, but it makes it kind of slightly richer and creamier. Gives it a creamier texture, more of a more body basically. Um, because if you drink cold brew, it can come seem a little bit thin. Just kind of. Uh, coffee flavoured water, very watery. So cold brew adds a bit more texture. Um, nitro cold brew adds a bit more texture. So anyway, so we're going to start with the black coffee, see how this one tastes. Oh, there you go, that pop there. And you get a nice puff out as well. It shows the nitrogen. So I'll give it a go. See? how it tastes. So 
Oh, it has a lovely rich smell, actually. It doesn't smell um, of like strong, um, kind of cloying coffee. It's got a gloriously rich, kind of creamy coffee smell, which is odd considering there's no uh, kind of milk or milk alternative in it. This is just a black, so. Oh. Oh wow, that's got a really kind of fruity punch to it. Well, there's almost a a sense of kind of raisins and um, cinnamon, and uh, there's almost that kind of uh, there's a very sweet fruity berry texture to that, which is not something I would necessarily uh, expect from cold brew. Um, but that is really kind of sweet. Again, there's no added sugar in this, so that's all from the coffee. Um, and you don't, I don't usually expect kind of sweet cold brew, but there is, there is a sweetness to it, not citrusy at all, but like I say, more like berries. Um, I got something akin to kind of raisins or that sort of fruitiness. Um, but no, I really like that as a coffee. That's a really nice, uh, yeah, there's no thinness to that. There's no kind of harsh acidity. Uh, it's a really mellow, uh, you know, kind of really nice. Uh, there's a richness to it. And the body plays across the tongue really nicely. Um, I've had other other kind of cold brews that I'd be more inclined to take to a barbecue, to say, say um, because they're not as rich um, and you could drink them kind of persistently. That is a great way to start the day. If it's a hot day, um, I would say that's more of a, yeah, pick up and go. I really, really like that. And I'm interested to see how the latte and the motka um, versions will work by adding something to that, because that is a really nice black coffee. Um, so, yeah, really like that. We'll see how the others go. Okay. It's a little later in the day now, and I've finished my uh, black uh, NCB. Um, so I'm now switching it to the latte. Uh, so I'm really kind of interested to see how it goes. I tend to drink milkier drinks. I yeah, I don't drink milk. I drink kind of oat milk or plant-based milks, um, a lot of nut milks. Um, so I'm interested to see how a kind of oat latte works in an NCB setup, uh, nitro cold brew. That is. Um, so we'll see how this goes. Like I said, the black one was quite uh, rich, full bodied and fruity. So I'm interesting to see how it works with a milk alternative. So let's give this a go. So you should hear the pop and see the nitrogen. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's really nice. Uh, I really like that, to be fair. Um, that kind of pop and... Uh, the little steam that comes out, it's not steam obviously, it's nitrogen, but you know, it's right. so let's give this a go, give it a quick smell. So obviously less uh, of a rich smell coming out, uh, you do kind of note the milkiness, again not milk, oat milk, but you note that more so than the coffee. So I'm hoping that doesn't overpower the coffee and it complements it, but here goes. Oh wow you really get the creaminess through. It's almost, it's not like a milkshake, but it really is creamy with that kind of nitro essence. I've had to go back for another swig there because the coffee isn't immediately evident. But when you do get it, the, it does taste more like an iced coffee than a cold brew. There is a sense of you know, uh, that kind of iced coffee uh, texture. So it is more creamy, it is more milky, but the coffee's there. It is obviously dulled a lot more because of the uh, latte essence to it. Uh, so that is one for kind of latte drinkers or the more casual, coffee drinkers who like a milky drink. So the coffee's not really strong through it, but it's definitely there. I am kind of really enjoying that in terms of, um, yeah, that's sort of like 
those kind of milky drinks you can pick up from coffee shops, but you could keep it in the fridge. So I like that essence to it. Not particularly strong in terms of the coffee, but it's also not kind of sickly sweet. So it's not like um, the major chains, who I shall not name, um, tend to do it with sugar shots or, you know, a pump of this, a pump of that. And it's really kind of sickly and it's more or less a glorified milkshake. That is definitely coffee. Um, but you know, with the kind of really rich, creamy texture uh, of uh, the, the kind of milky drinks. Um, what is interesting is that the uh, nitrogen obviously adds a level of that texture. So despite it being oat milk, it does taste really creamy. Um, or, you know, has that texture of creaminess. Um, which is really interesting because you don't tend to get that with a lot of plant-based drinks or if you drink kind of uh, milkier drinks that aren't full fat. Um, but that creaminess is there without that level of kind of fattiness. So that's uh, really nice and is, is, is also really nice for those of us who do are plant-based and miss out on certain textures and whatnot. Um, so yeah, I, I recommend that coming from a, uh, a vegan perspective. Um, in terms of the coffee, it's not particularly strong, but it does taste good. Um, you would buy that if you like milky coffee, but you're not looking for like uh, uh, something sh too sugary or too sweet. So yeah, big fan of that. Here we are, it's late afternoon now. We've tried the black coffee and we've tried the latte. So now we're gonna try the mocha. <laughs> Um, the latte I didn't find kind of too strong, too coffee y. The creaminess came across, and there was definitely a coffee taste, but it wasn't very strong. So I'm interested to see how the mocha works with yet another component. Now, uh, as I mentioned earlier, Minor Figures doesn't add, it put any added sugar into their stuff. So I, I'm wondering if this will be uh, particularly sweet and how the chocolate will work in that. So we'll give it a go and see how that works out. So wait for the pop. Can I open it? There we go, lovely. And I quite like the quirky branding as you've seen the pictures on these. Um, so it's all good fun. Let's give this a go. Well, the chocolate is quite strong smelling, so we'll see if it comes across. Oh, so you do get a hint of the cacao or cacao, but you don't it's not kind of viciously strong so i mean that's kind of nice and pleasant it's less coffee again coffee -y, not being the word but you know what i mean the 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 flavor doesn't come across um too strong but it's obviously there and it's stronger than the uh chocolate so they actually complement each other quite nicely neither one kind of overpowers the other it's quite nicely balanced but you're still kind of drinking that more for the creaminess I guess uh, than the coffee um, but it's also not horrendously sweet there's no kind of sickly sweetness to it um, but it's not like dark chocolate there's no kind of bitterness uh, as though it were kind of dark cacao only so it's really quite a pleasant drink um, if you're looking for something more of like essentially a coffee flavored milkshake this is not it um, you'd want something more sugary um, but this is a really kind of nice, kind of pleasant, semi-posh kind of uh, mocha. It's, it's yeah, it's kind of a bit of a grown-up mocha. There's no sweetness, but the balance is nice there. And you still do get some of that kind of rich coffee flavour through. So all in all, uh, the black coffee was really pleasant with the kind of fruity berry notes. Um, and not a lot of strong acidity. Um, it wasn't kind of cloying or, or didn't prick the tongue. It was just a nice, rich black coffee. The latte was very creamy, but had enough coffee taste to, to kind of pull through it. And then the mocha is essentially the latte, very similar to the latte, but with those kind of slightly higher notes of the chocolate complementing it. So all in all, uh, kind of really enjoying these coffees and the multi-pack, and I would thoroughly recommend.